Hi everybody, this is Kelsey. This is Essentially Booked. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. Today I'm going to talk about my December TBR, which I cannot believe it's December, so who knows how much reading will actually happen. I'm kind of laughing at myself because I didn't think I had that many books on my TBR, but I really do, and it's actually quite overwhelming. This month, um, I'm going on a reading retreat for my birthday, so there will be a vlog later down the road of those books. I will read a lot during that because it's two days where I'm literally just reading and it's going to be the best. So I've got a lot of books on my TBR that I probably won't get to, but I might depending on how this reading retreat goes. I'm also off for a very extended amount of time, but my toddler will be with me for a lot of it too. So like I could do really well. I, it just really could go either way. So that's kind of exciting. I have a secret TBR sort of kinda for Vlogmas and well, maybe not for Vlogmas. I don't know where this will fit in this month, but I am pretty excited about that. So at some point I'll have some books. I'm not gonna talk about here, but they're all net galley books, but there's a theme to them, so. All right, I think we're just gonna get started and dig into this huge, I don't know if you can see it, this bucket of books here and some toddler toys. Uh, yeah, we're going to jump into that and see what books we're reading this month. So I am doing a couple book club reads. So um, my In Real Life book club we're reading Tom Lake by Ann Patchett. And I'm really excited about this. I was generously gifted this by the publisher and I was totally not expecting it. And then I'm reading The Assassin's Blade right now. But the next book up in Throne of Glass is Air of Fire. I might actually read a lot more of these because I am very suspicious suspicious i suspect that i will get very sucked in to this novel because it's sarah j mass and i would like to read all of her books before the newest crescent city comes out will that happen probably not but i just know she's gonna do something to us because if you know you know about how the last crescent city book ended i just mm -hmm. and i want to see if there's easter eggs and other books like she's great okay so I think I talked about both of these or maybe three of these, yes, last month and I didn't get to them. So I'm moving them this month, but I would like to finish this Tender Land. Still need to read The Two Towers for my Lord of the Rings reread. And then for sure this is happening in December. So A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, definitely a priority for this month. Okay, and then I've talked about this before too, I think in my like year end book tag, but I'm still working through this. I've got about four hours left of it on audiobook and we'll hopefully finish that in December. If I don't, there's something seriously wrong with me, but it's so good on audio. I have, um, beyond that, The Sea, again, it's a book that I started and didn't finish. Would like to finish that this month. Also sent to me by the publisher. And then I was sent this by St. Martin's Press. It's Resilient by Brooke Wells and she is a CrossFitter. I do CrossFit. I love watching CrossFit games, which is like kind of their Olympics almost. And CrossFit is just a super fun sport. It's addicting. People have opinions about it, but I just love it. So it's been like one of the best things I've done for my health and for my mental health and like walking through infertility. I, my body image was really bad. Um, and so CrossFit has been something that has really like helped me find myself again and feel proud of my body because my body wasn't something to be proud of for a while. Like it was making me very upset because it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do, but CrossFit has given me back some control. So Brooke Wells, she got injured at one of the CrossFit games and like you watched it happen live and just watching her come back has been really inspiring. And so this is her memoir and I'm very excited to read it. So that was an aside I wasn't expecting to go on, but I have two book of the months, but I did a random like number generator draws my TBR and I feel like, I don't know, maybe one of these was already drawn. I think it was a tree grows in Brooklyn, but okay. So one of the books that was drawn was Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman. Um, this is a book I've been really wanting to read for a really long time. I love Alice Hoffman's writing. This is the prequel to Practical Magic and it's book of the month. Then today I got one of my newest book of the month boxes and I did pick The Kingdom of Sweets, which I own um, on as a NetGalley arc too, but I just was really intrigued by this premise. It's like a dark nutcracker retelling, fits perfectly for the season. Uh, so that's why I wanna read it and I would get another NetGalley net net off of my shelf. Okay, 
The rest of these books I have pulled as a tentative TBR for my reading retreat weekend. Now this could change because I'm a mood reader. So I could read any of these that I've already talked about during that weekend. I could read any of these. I could also read books that I haven't even brought up yet. Who knows? Um, I do know there's going to be some books on my Kindle that I want to read, but for sure some books that I'm interested in bringing on this retreat are The Madness of Crowds by Louise Penny. That's book 17 of 18 right now. I want to read up one of my, um, Illumicrate books that I've gotten and I have the sequel on NetGalley. So God Killer. This is a beautiful book. So this one, um, I was giving me like kind of Lord of the Rings vibes in a little way, weird way. Uh, I try to grab books like across genres so that as I'm reading a lot over that weekend, I won't get sick of books so I can like jump genres, um, knowing that I'll probably jump to a lot of romance just because sometimes that's all my brain can handle. Um, another one or one of the books that I grabbed was How the Wallflower Was Won. This has been on my bedstand for a really long time. It's by Eva Lay. I've read the other two books in this series. So this is the second one. With romance novels, you don't have to technically read them in order. I mean, it helps, but you don't have to. So this is the second book. I've read the first and the third. Another romance that I got from, was this from Avon? Yep. Is The Blonde Identity. And it's like a rom-com based off The Born Identity. Sounds super fun. Uh, a book of the month book of short stories, but it's like a, re it's a novel in short stories. It's Fiona and Jane. And I just had some good friends that I really like how they read recommend this to me. So that's when I'm very pumped about. I think that would be a good like palate cleanser, like maybe reading a chapter in between books for this retreat. And then I know a lot of you love this book. So The Measure, I'm finally gonna read. Um, my friend Jane will be very excited about this. Her Majesty's Royal Coven. I told like, I think I've told her, I think I've told other people, this is one I wanted to bring on that trip for that reason. And then this was another one. I kind of did like a random number generator and this book by J. Ryan Stradall was chosen Kitchens of the Great Midwest. He's like an author I've been saving for breaking case of emergencies because I know I'll love him. Um, he's a Midwest author. All of his books take place in Minnesota, which is like my happy place. So yeah. And then what better book to read on a reading retreat than a book that's an ode to reading. And that is The Reading List by Sarah Nisha Adams. I started this and then didn't finish it. It's a Modern Mrs. Darcy book club pick. And I just really would like to get to it. So that is a stack of eighteen, nineteen books potentially that I could read this month. And actually there's more because I have a secret TBR and also I'm a mood reader. So that could be fun, but let's see. I'm going to do Vlogmas this month. So you will get that content for sure. Um, that will start the day of Christmas, I think, or Christmas Eve, maybe. I don't know. I'll, I think I'll start the day of Christmas because that's when the true 12 days of Christmas starts. So you will get Vlogmas and then um, a lot of fun this month, I guess. I don't know. I might do some reading vlogs based off this content. You'll definitely get a reading weekend reading vlog. Um, I'm going to be working on a Goodreads choice reading vlog here because not reading vlog, but just a video because I would just like to do that. I've been watching a lot of content of other people and I thought it looked really fun. So that might be something else you'll see. But um, if you've read any of these, let me know in the comments. And if you've made it to the end, do a little fire emoji because I have my fireplace going. All right, everybody, thank you for watching this channel. Sorry for clapping so loud. I'm so glad you're here. And until the next video, I will see you later. Bye.